This is a French vanilla ice cream with chocolate chunks, toasted almonds, and salted caramel. I like to call it midnight bliss. And today I'll show you how to make it. First, toast 30 grams of sliced almonds by placing them on medium heat. You want to cook them until they turn slightly brown. Depending on the stove you have, this may take a minute or two. I like to toast mine a little longer since that will give the almonds a stronger flavor. Once you're done, set them aside to cool down. Next up, chop 50 grams of dark chocolate into large chunks. Depending on your preference, you can make them smaller or bigger than what I'm showing here. Now comes the fun part. We can finally make the ice cream. In a saucepan, add 1 cup or 8 ounces of whole milk and heavy cream, 100 grams of sugar, and half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I like to mix it until the sugar has dissolved and it is hot to the touch, which usually would take about 10 to 15 minutes. Set it aside and grab 3 eggs to separate out the yolks. Once you have them separated, add in some of the mixture to temper the yolks. Make sure to whisk the whole time and then add everything back into the saucepan. Heat the custard until it thickens and covers the back of the spoon. Then it is ready for an ice bath. But first, use a sieve to remove any cooked eggs, which I have plenty of this time around. In a larger bowl, get some ice and water and place your custard inside to cool down. While it cools, let's make some salted caramel. This was my first time making it and I'm happy with how it turned out. On medium heat, add 100 grams of sugar into a saucepan and let it caramelize. You want it to turn into a brown gooey liquid just like this. Then add in 3 tablespoons of butter. It will start to make angry noises and bubble up. Keep mixing until the butter and sugar are fully combined. Then add in half a cup or 4 ounces of heavy cream. Now just let it boil for a minute or two and then take off the heat to cool down. This is where you add in a half teaspoon of salt and mix properly. That's it, your salted caramel is ready. It may look thin, but as it cools, it will get thicker and look like a traditional caramel. Now back to the ice cream. Take your bowl out of the ice bath and follow the instructions on your ice cream maker. While that is happening, transfer the caramel into a small jar and place it in the freezer. Mainly because it will still be hot by the time your ice cream is done, which is something you do not want. And now we wait. Once your ice cream is done, it's time to mix in the chocolate, almonds, and caramel. Take out half of the ice cream into a container and add the mix-ins. After which, you will add a swirl of caramel on top. Hope yours looks better than mine. Now repeat the same step for the remaining ice cream. Finally, you're ready to freeze it for at least 6 hours. However, I like to wait until the next day for mine. And there you have it, a French vanilla ice cream with chocolate chunks, toasted almonds, and caramel swirls. Hope you enjoyed the video and more importantly, like the recipe. If you want to see more ice cream recipes, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.